The next core concept is mastering the two user modes. You've seen this in every one of the videos so far. Remember, when you navigate a spreadsheet, you can either be in the select mode or you can be in the cell value edit mode. You can toggle between those modes with a double click on a cell. You can escape it. Uh, if you don't want to make any changes, hit escape. Notice that we can always tell what mode we're in because in edit mode we have a cursor and key functions on our tabs, our toolbars, are grayed out because those aren't available in edit mode. And we're going to practice this by entering some data into our collected item spreadsheet. If you are moving along with me, you can explore some programming books with me. I'm going to do these fast and I'll go over a couple of other features of just getting text and data into the spreadsheet. First of all, our titles are bound to be longer than the width of this column currently set. If I hover between the column headers A and B in a magic sweet spot, the cursor changes to a line with two arrows going on opposite directions. That means that when I click and drag, I am changing the width of this column. So I'm going to give my title plenty of breathing room. I'm also going to uh, zoom in so that you can see with stunning clarity what I'm doing. Author, likely to be a little longer, but not as long as title. Editor, I'm going to change editor to press. So I'm going to say F2. Uh, you'd be surprised at how different various publishing houses are in the way that they approach programming. Pages, five-star rating, and comments. That look good. That looks good. So I'm navigating with my arrow keys to come back to title. So I can say Java, A, B, Beginner's Guide. The author is Schilt. Cool last name. The press is Oracle. Press. Oops, see how it's a little too long? I can jump in as I go and make that column wider. I'm now on pages. Flip to the end. Five, six. This is a relatively short book coming in at 699 numbered pages and I hit tab to move. This is a great book. I assign it for my classes. It's a Ford, um, so I can say would get five if four loops were covered later. We will figure out what to do with cell uh, text that bleeds over, and we don't want to make this column as wide as we would need to include all the text on one line. Uh, notice I mistyped guide. I'm going to do an arrow up and F2. That moved me into edit mode. I can add my E and hit enter and move on. Okay, you get the idea here. This next one is, um, let's get a good one. Python programming by John Zell. So I can type in Python programming. Zell or Zelly. Oracle, it's not. It's by Franklin. Haven't heard of them. Pages. Ooh, this one's coming in at 514 printed numbered pages. This I wasn't super happy with. Um, too basic. Uh, not much new material. Okay. I am encouraging you to, if you tried along with me, uh, keep in mind that I'm going to ask you to invite you to make your own collected item spreadsheet. So that means that you'll want to think, if it's not a book, probably doesn't have an author. So you'll want to think about a different set of column values, or we'd say fields in data terms, that you want to collect about any collected item. This could be favorite movies, and you can record the director and the length in minutes, perhaps. And uh, so get your mind going on that, because by the time you get to exercise two, you will be on the spot.